breaking news from CBS 17 News. Well, this morning's top story is the growing effort to find a plane that disappeared from RDU's radar. Here's a live look at RDU this morning. And that disappearance prompted first responders to search Umstead Park for the missing aircraft. That's where we find our Jamise Price. She kicks off her 50 minutes of nonstop news from the park. Jamise. Alicia, we're starting to see some traffic pick up here at Ebenezer Church Road leading to Umstead State Park. I've seen a few um, agents headed to that search and rescue efforts, starting to see people travel over there to Umstead State Park, and that's where that search has centered since last night around 7.30 and into this morning. But I can tell you with every hour, their concern continues to grow because that plane hasn't been located. And this unfolded Sunday night around 7.30. That's when air traffic control alerted RDU that a plane a small plane disappeared from radar and that's what really kicked off this search effort for uh, that small plane. Now the airport briefly closed down while the fire units from the airport responded to the missing plane and once the fire units returned the airport opened up. Now since then there's been multiple agencies on the ground and in the air trying to find that that plane that disappeared from radar including the state highway patrol helicopter and they're looking for a heat signature from the ground that would signify a crash landing so they're bringing out as much technology and any effort that they can to try and locate that plane that disappeared but there's still some challenges with this search this is a huge area of land 5200 acres is dark out here and the area is a, a heavily dense area so a lot of effort still going into this search right now and I want to take you to uh, how the airport authority responded to this initial call primary goal right now is to to find the, this airplane and so all of our uh, focus is on uh, that operation since the plane disappeared, it forced the airport to close and it halted traffic there and there were some delays, but we've been monitoring uh, those uh, flight flights this morning and we can report to you that there aren't as many delays as we were seeing last night. So that's the very latest in the search and rescue effort happening out here in Raleigh. Meets Price, CBS 17 News.